Hello, I'm Dave Bergman, Vice President of International Relations for IPC, and I have the technical question online. Uh, this comes from uh, one of our members in Europe, and it's related to uh, rigid flex design. This member was looking at uh, IPC design standard, IPC 2223, uh, as they were working on a rigid flex design. The challenge that they were having is that some of the information that they had seen in the rigid counterpart uh, they were not finding in the flex. So their question is related specifically to uh, feature location tolerance, or what that means is feature location tolerance is will the hole or will the feature be where you expect it to be based on the data you have to manufacture the product. And so uh, that, there's requirements on that in IPC 2222 uh, in Table 9-1, but there isn't a corresponding table to 2223. Since they're working on flex, they're now having a question, what do I do? That information doesn't seem to be there. So the question is, what tolerance can be expected or applicable for the rigid flex board? And the second one is, I see there are level A, B, and C requirements in the design standards, which is a default uh, uh, condition. So the answers to this uh, number, uh, to, to the first one, is uh, what tolerance can be expected or what requirements should I really be looking for uh, for feature location tolerance. Uh, since 2223 does not have the, uh, the table in there, uh, the recommendation is to use the call out from 2222. So go back and use the rigid feature tolerance location. So the table 9-1 uh, of the 2222 recommend using that for your uh, design expectations. For the standpoint, there's, you see in the Table 9-1 a requirements for producibility levels A, B, and C, uh, which is a default. Well, to understand the producibility levels, you have to look at one of the other design standards where it talks about uh, how difficult it is to make the boards. In 2221, there is a section, 1.6.3, that talks about produce, producibility level. This drives the definitions throughout IPC design series. And so if you look at this, there's three levels that go throughout the document. Level A is general design producibility preferred. Level B, moderate design producibility standard. Level C, high design producibility reduced. What this means is that the designer, in making their decisions based on the data in the standard, can make a decision on whether to make it the board easy to build or extremely challenging to build. So if they have to, in their design, have everything at level C, that means that the board is going to be more expensive and harder to produce. The preferred would be to make everything level A, which essentially means give everything a little bit extra room so that there's more manufacturing tolerances. The resulting product be more producible and this can be made for a lower cost. Now which of those is a default? The answer is there is no default. It's a choice that the designer makes as they're, as they're developing the product uh, that they can then see where, they, where their design fits in with what the industry indicates is preferred or reduced producibility. So they have some idea as to what kind of cost pressures they'll be seeing when they go out to try and get that board built. That's, this, that's the latest technical question online. If you'd like, to answer, like us to answer one of your questions, please send it to us at answers at ipc.org.